Greetings and salutations to you all my good chums. My name is Richard, this is Gentlemanly Gaming and welcome back to Grand Strategy Sunday and Crusader Kings 2 in real life. Last time on the show we continued our run here with uh, Emi Mirza but we left off on a bit of a cliffhanger. We have found out that our wife is pregnant by another man. Yes, we have been cucked. This has happened to us once before and uh, we kept our mouth shut. I asked you, what do you think that Emi Mirza would do in this situation? He has a fairly positive opinion of his wife. Not super great that would make this decision easy, but enough that would make us question it. However, unfortunately I didn't hear back from anyone regarding this so I've had to make the decision myself and I was struggling a little bit to make this decision last time but having stopped and thought about it a little bit more and given that Emi Mirza is now a proud man and given the fact that he has been under the thumb of people and he has worked hard the past five or six years to get out from that shadow to get out from under that thumb to become his own man to stand up for himself to be more defensive about things and his life and his way of doing things and all of that nonsense all of that past experience has led me to believe he would for sure let everyone know about this infidelity I think that he would definitely do that. The father of the unborn baby is to be revealed. Boom. We have re revealed it. She is now known as the unfaithful. The pregnancy has caused my wife to develop quite the unusual tastes. Most of what she asks for dinner nowadays ranges from mildly unsettling to positively revolting. Still, scholars do agree that a pregnant woman's cravings should always be accommodated. But do I care anymore? It's not my kid. I'm not in love with my wife. I hate my wife now. Wow. Okay, yeah, I hate her. Um, so I don't care. Um, yeah, I, I, it's a bit annoying that I have to spend any money on this at all. Uh... I, it doesn't really matter what do I, what I want to give her, a quail's leg, uh, a hare's head, or a fish's eye. I'm going to give her a fish's eye because that sounds disgusting. But yeah, there you go. I now hate my wife with a passion. Yeah, I am not fond of her at all. Her opinion of me hasn't changed too much, but yeah, I'm not, uh, she, she has a lot of rivals now, but no lover. So I'm not sure how that came about. She has lovers pox, so I definitely don't want to be doing that so much anymore. But I don't know if maybe I want to arrange a divorce. Because I, I hate this woman. I hate her. And I... I I didn't pick her. I never picked this woman in my life. She was picked for me. I think I'm going to do it. Yeah. He is a proud man. He's going to do it. Uh, for her proven unfaithfulness, her close relatives will still be insulted. Minus 20 opinion. I'm going to lose a non-aggression pact with this guy down here, isn't it? But he's a nobody, so I don't really care. I don't particularly like him that much anyway, do I? More than I like her, but not enough that I would actually have an issue with it. Uh, the only problem is it's going to affect my kids. Now, he's my ward. I think that if I make her my ward, she'll stay with me too. Because that was the thing that I really wanted to avoid. I wanted to make sure that I avoided that with Mirza. Because he grew up in an environment where the family was split up. Where the mum took away the kids. And the father never had anything to do with them. And I grew up and that's what led to the situation where my uncle was in charge of me. Demanding how I live my life and everything like that. 
So if I, I'm I'm pretty sure that if I make her my ward as well, they will stay with me, right? Uh, so no, it's not you I want to change. It's you, and I want to make me your ward because I want to. I want you to stay with me. So that should have changed now. Yep, I have two wards. I'm pretty sure if I arrange this divorce. So we've now divorced, which means I'm now unmarried. But I'm pretty sure. They've moved to Damascus. Am I in Damascus? I'm in Damascus. Okay, so that's fine. So I'm pretty sure that they're with me. Yeah. They're not with her. Where she, yeah, she's gone home. They're not with her at all. Okay. Okay, cool. Right, now I'm guessing that you don't like me anymore. No, but I don't like you either, so who cares? Right, yeah, the kids are with me that's good so I think first up today we are going to probably be looking for a new wife I think but the problem is is that I've been looking around for a while and there's just no one that I particularly like there's, there's no one whose opinion has been particularly high of uh, that I have the opinion of so, I don't know. I mean, I could change my focus. I can't change it for a while yet, actually. But I could change that to a seduction focus and see if that anyone pops up. But I'm not a very lusty kind of guy, so it would be more about just trying to find someone and put myself out on the market and do a little bit of dating and stuff like that. But I don't, uh, I don't, I, I can't change it for four years yet anyway, so it's no big deal. Their opinion is still okay of me. It's not fantastic, but hopefully that will improve over time. Also, we were expecting a breakout of these rebellions because, yeah, the, the, the factions are... Well, actually, wow, they've dropped a lot of strength now. Okay, so this faction was the most dangerous. This was like 107% of my strength or something at some point. That's dropped right down now, so they're not... It doesn't look like they're coming anymore. Because we were waiting for that to break out all last episode, pretty much. But it never did. So. Okay. But we've got some people who absolutely hate us. They despise us. And two of them are powerful vassals. I still think that I could take them on their own. But if they all get together. That's when we're going to have a little bit of a, a problem, I think. Um. I don't know how strong. Yeah, you're a little bit stronger. So I'm not entirely sure. But it never broke out. And it seems like the strength has dropped as well. So it's unlikely to break out at the moment. But we are being raided. Our lands over here are actually being raided. Now I'm pretty sure that these troops are on their way over there but I don't uh, it's, I think that they're going to get smacked down to be honest with you um, so I don't know if I want to go over there and try and release but I don't think I can raise that much can I? No I can't release it I can't raise enough to get to 8 so we might just have to be raided unfortunately now I'm guessing that they've gone through the fort that was here already right because that's now been destroyed. So, yeah, I'm guessing they went through the fort. Now they're sieging. See, they sieged the capital already. And now they're down to sieging the rest. So they've been here a while, it seems. And I just haven't noticed. But, yeah, I think uh, what we're going to do today is we're probably going to look for a new wife. See if that anyone stands out. And if no one stands out, then, yeah, there's not really much we can do about that. We're just going to have to remain unmarried. 
unless some angel comes waltzing into my life that I instantly fall in love with, we shall have to see, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, just a whole host of stuff just happened there. Layla Bint Tewardos. I don't know who you are, but apparently she died. Don't know who that is. Um, my my Grand Vizier died. The guy that I was starting to become friends with and starting to trust, he passed away. Ah, oh, that sucks. But now it does mean that I do have an open council position. I can only hope he remembered me fondly in his last moments. Yeah, because we were starting to come around to him. We were starting to have a little bit of a positive opin opinion of him. But yeah, he's gone. He's gone. So we now need to find a new person. So not many people like us, though, unfortunately. That's the problem. We are... Uh, we don't have many friends in the world. We, 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 we lost a lot of opinion from people when we stripped all those titles from that guy last time. That hit us quite hard and quite heavy. We lost a, we lost quite a bit because of that. But uh, yeah, so what's my opinion of you? Not terrible. So 12 is the highest right now. 11... is not fantastically high is it yeah I don't really like anyone that's the problem I'm not a particularly friendly person either so uh, let's so he's 13 let's see what's in the world and see if um, anyone comes up a little bit higher than that so 21 my opinion's 21 of him too so that's probably a high 23 there's not a huge difference between 23 and 21 though so that's negligible 25 is a little bit better anyone who I absolutely adore above 13 26. See, I, I don't really like a lot of people either. It's it's I'm the problem as well. I I don't seem to like a lot of people. 27. You're 14. Hmm. Yeah, now we're into the 13s and everyone is. Yeah, I don't really like a lot of these people either, do I? That's my problem. 28 is the highest I found. Or was that other guy 29? He might have been 29, mightn't he? Can't remember. 27, no. Hmm. So the best one is 21. And you're 12. So it's... It's a big enough difference that I might invite someone in. to 21 is not that big of a difference see the thing is as well is as soon as I invite him in and they come to my court my opinion drops of them instantly anyway for some reason I, I, I tend to find that when you are looking at someone like this you like them quite a lot but then you invite them in and your opinion drops drastically of them So I don't necessarily want to invite someone in if my opinion is just going to drop and it's just another person that's not going to like me. So I think we're just going to put this guy in anyway. Because yeah, the next the next ones are not... Yeah, there's no one in there I particularly like anyway. So let's just bring him in and he can perform the statecraft. Yeah. But yeah, that's the, that's the problem is that... I don't like a lot of people and they don't like me either. 
Now, your opinions have shot up of me, and I don't know why. Not sure why your opinions have gone up of me. Hmm. I don't know if maybe I want to start replacing you guys anyway. If there's anyone else I like more. Six. Eleven. But he hates me. But he does. A lot of that is because he wants to be on the council. Hmm. I mean, the problem is, is he's insane. He's probably not going to be alive much longer anyway. So I don't think I need to worry about him too much because I think he's going to lose. He's he's already lost a lot of his power. Like like this this has gone down like drastically now. So like I'm I'm pretty sure I'm safe from these factions now the threat is dropping hugely so yeah I'm, I'm i'm becoming safer because this guy is not only um old but he's also really in bad shape and some of the things like uh like lunatic and great pox and things like that is gonna make them less appealing for other people to join their factions as well so I'm, I'm becoming safer from him. I think I don't need to worry about that. You're... I bought you in because like I liked you, right? Um, and you were the best of a bad bunch, it seems. Steward, same thing, I'm pretty sure. I mean, you're a lot better, but I don't like you, don't like you. Have an opinion of you of one, but he's nineteen. So yeah, that's the that's the thing. I think I liked him the most out of everyone. See again, like I said, I'm the problem as well. Like a lot of people don't like me, but I don't like a lot of people either. That's the problem. So I mean, I like him the most out of these guys, but. The thing is, is that A, he, oh, 86, oh, my mum. She's a lot worse than him, though. Am I, yeah, I'm shrewd, so I know. Yeah, I think that this is probably okay and just replace them as and when they drop, to be honest with you. Because, yeah, I don't think there's anyone going to be there that I particularly like more. Yeah, I think that that'll probably be alright. He was also a commander, that guy as well, wasn't he? Yeah, so, but I don't think that there's anyone I like enough to make a commander. I don't, I mean, 11... Could make you a commander that would like make you like me a bit more as well. You're the person I like the most, probably, aren't you? 19 as well. So apart from my mum, the person I like the most... Oh, and my kids. My kids have obviously got very good opinions as well. But the person I like the most is 19. See, that's the thing. Right, well, I'm going to make you... A commander as well, an honorary commander. That should make your opinion go up of me a little bit more as well. You're not particularly good, but it's more of an honorific position than anything else. Crap. Because my holdings are being sieged by these guys and the Abbasids aren't doing anything about it, I'm losing manpower and that's making the factions stronger again because I'm losing manpower. I really need the Abbasids to get off their ass and come and do something about this. What are they fighting for as well? Conquest of Kuwait. Oh, they're actually fighting for me. They're, they want to take this. 
Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, Abbasid, you really need to get off your ass and do something about this. Have you got... You've got the strength that you... You've only got 5,000 troops. Where are they all? Where are your troops? What are they doing at the moment? There's 3,000 up here. But they're not doing it if I'm going to lose Kuwait. I'm going to lose this part of my realm. Son of a... I didn't realise that that's what they were going for. has he got that many troops and I don't I mean a lot of my troops are yeah they're tied up that's the problem because he siege two of my holdings I need to do something about this because there's I'm gonna lose part of my realm otherwise I'm, I'm gonna lose it anyway because I can't fight him I'm not strong enough But we're going to have to do it anyway. I just... Yeah, I'm, I'm not strong enough that I'm going to make any difference. That, that it's not, it's not going to happen. But I guess we we gotta give it a go. Yeah, I just I I think we're gonna lose Kuwait. This is gonna annoy them even more now as well. I need to save some money up to try and hire some mercenaries. I think don't I? So, uh, what are? I can't afford any of them right now it's the cheapest 150 yeah it's gonna take 140 of oh, these ones but they've run out of men that's why they're so cheap it's gonna take me a while to save up for them I think yeah we are going to lose Kuwait it seems I think yep we lost it We lost it. We lost our realm. I, um... That has got to affect my opinion of you, right? Because, yeah, you didn't come to my defence. You... Basically let that happen. That's weakened us a lot. And that also means that I now can no longer um, found the Kingdom of Arabia. Yeah, um, wow, that is a, that's a bit of a kick in the teeth. Balls. That, um... Yeah, that, that sucks. We've actually lost land. That's the first time we lost... Uh, actually, I mean, we lost this part up here. We Originally, we had this realm up here as well, didn't we? But, right, well, that has... That's come out of nowhere. Was not expecting that to have happened. But, yeah, we lost Kuwait. That's done a lot of damage as well. Uh, like everything is, yeah, see, like 107%. See, the factions have increased again now. Um, need a new court physician as well. I don't think I'm going to be able to afford a new court physician. That's going to hit my income as well a lot, that is. 
Yeah, that is, uh, that's annoyed me, that has. He has not, someone's died, who died? My, my imam, right, now I am cynical, but I also have sympathy for religion, so. Maybe I would recruit an imam, because I have sympathy for. Sympathy for religion. Cynical. Uh, yeah, I think I would have an imam still, wouldn't I? Which one do I like the most? You, I like the most. So you can be my new imam. Um, you can just research cultural tech because, yeah, I don't... Um, really want you to do anything else there's nothing else particularly that I need from you council seems to like me a lot more now though uh, minor titles so that's the court physician that we're trying to find chief architect we lost an architect not sure what skills I wanted from that one cannot remember was it a uh... It was a stewardship -y focus more than anything, wasn't it? And then someone with like a builder perk or something. Uh, yeah, no, sorry, I'm a bit bummed out that we lost Kuwait there. That's that's annoying. That's the first time we lost any. I mean, it can happen in in this type of playthrough. You know, there, there is a chance of that happening. I wish I'd noticed that earlier. Because then I would have raised my levies sooner and I would have had Kuwait's levies and Katif's levies there as well. Which probably would have given me a little bit more strength. Balls. I want to see what these are. These are in aid of now. Right. Against tyranny. Okay. That's fine. I don't care about that. Conquest of Utsain. Okay. That's not something I have either. So... Need to keep an eye on those war scores a little bit, I think, now. Um, because I didn't know that that was directly for my land. I wasn't aware of that. That's probably made you a lot more powerful now as well, hasn't it? Yeah. And obviously, you've got your liege backing you up, who is a lot more powerful than my liege, it seems. Ah, <sighs> crap. Right, uh... Let the rebuilding commence, I guess. Oh, okay. So, might have a trait gain here. After I had made another courtier cry, the third one in a short week, I felt a bit embarrassed. Is this really who I am? A cruel man who likes to hurt people? My dad was cruel. So, who am I kidding? I love this. 45% chance gains the trait cruel. Oh, Allah, what have I done? Forgive me, please. Gains the trait kind. Hmm... Proud, cynical, and uncouth would suggest cruel. Plus, my dad was cruel as well. Temperate, sympathy would suggest kind. I've had it rough the past few years as well. I think I'm going to go for cruel. There's more that would suggest I would go cruel. But then I didn't grow up with my dad. Maybe we should flip a coin. No, I'm going to go cruel. And I got cruel. Okay. So I have become cruel as well. Okay, so... Not a very nice person anymore, then, it seems. Okay, so I've become cruel, just like my dad. I uh, took my wife cheating on me, losing my realm. Courtiers annoying me and pissing me off. Yeah, I've become a cruel person. Okay, fair enough. 
So, a couple of things that I've just thought about. <clears throat> now that I've become cruel and proud, first things first, I think this guy, because I don't like him, I think I'm going to start antagonizing him because he obviously took land off me, so I'm not happy about that. I am a cruel, proud person, so I would not take that lying down. So I'm going to start antagonizing him. I am on the war focus, which means I'm pretty sure I can duel him as well. Now, my personal combat skill is 71. What's his? 55. I should be able to beat him because he's got one eye as well. He's a lunatic, great pox, one-eyed. So I should be able to hopefully take him on. He has a lot more dual experience than I do, though. He's dueled a lot more people than I have. Scary, but I might be able to do it. And the other thing, we have now become cruel. Now, once upon a time, there was a man that we sat down and had drinks with and had some conversations with and you know, he brought up some good points, and, and I agreed with these points because I was a, a cynical person. I, 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 I agreed that, you know, yeah, yeah, you know what, you're asking some good, important questions there. Um, but he took it a step too far, and I, I decided to back down and back out of that. But you know what? Maybe it might be worth... Maybe finding out a little bit more about that again? Perhaps? Maybe? You know? I mean, the problem is, is that I do have sympathy for other religions. So I, I, but I am cynical. But now I'm cruel. And they already reached out to me. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to reach out to them again. And maybe, just maybe, we might go down that path this time. Oh my god, I've just seen that another war's just broken out. And this guy is trying to conquer Damascus. And you know what? He might actually do it. He's got 4.89 uh, thousand. He's got 4.28. Our lease is becoming weak so so weak he's gonna lose his capital he is going to lose damascus the capital of the abbasid empire he's becoming so weak i mean i still like him enough for the time being to that ne i wouldn't necessarily go for independence but he's becoming very very weak Dangerous, dangerous times in the Abbasid Empire. We've already lost. I've lost personally because of this guy as well. So, yeah, not happy about that. So, something's just occurred to me. I have a holding in Damascus, don't I? I'm pretty sure... That I have a holding here, right? Or do I not have it anymore? No, he's, I think he took it off me. Yeah, I don't have it anymore. Okay. You've become more powerful as well, right? No, you're, you've just inherited it from that crazy guy. Okay, and you don't like me as well. But I like you more than I like your dad. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, I don't know what... What happened? I think he's taken it off of me. Yeah, okay, so I don't have anything here anymore. I definitely had something here at some point or another I for sure had a holding there but I think he's taken it off of me right okay okay well I was gonna say we need to actually step up and and go and fight then if they're gonna take Damascus off of us 
But if I don't have a holding there anymore, then why would I care? Yeah, I, okay. Well, I'm not going to go and help them. Because if I don't have a hold in there, then I don't care anymore. Fair enough. All right, well, there goes that idea then. Don't worry about it. Ah, uh, here we go. Here we go. I'm having a dinner party and plenty of drinks with Wali Farouk of Amirid tonight. It's lovely. And what I am most charmed by is his conversation. So, questioning the salvation of a sea. I don't like this guy. But I, I will remember the previous conversation we had, right? I would remember that and I'm like, ah, oh, I know, I know what we're going. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to carry on. Bes besides the fact that I don't like this guy, I would remember the, the conversation before. So yeah, we're going to carry on. We're going to carry on down this trap. Uh, okay. Fair enough. Thanks for letting me know that. Right. Uh... Right, okay. Uh... I've been mulling over his words. Allah told Adam he would die if he ate the forbidden fruit. Allah lied. The Imams in the mosque lie. Their lies are meant to hold us back. Or I could drain, gain the trait greedy. But I'm already temperate. So no. We're gonna just carry on down the down the road. Uh, this is the guy I am uh, just gonna antagonize him. Uh, rather than being upset by my slanderous allegations, he praised me for refined vocabulary. Damn, his opinion is going to go up of me. I don't... That was not my intention. Damn. Okay, well, that backfired. Uh, Hafiz says his favourite toy is missing and he won't go to bed without it. I might have thrown it away today as I was tidying up. Uh, I'll offer to buy a new one. I guess I have to go and find it, but I'm cruel. Temperance would mean I'd go and find it rather than spending money to get a new one. I found the toy Hafiz was crying about after going through the rubbish. Not this word here. But now he is not satisfied because it smells. Okay, he's become fussy and his opinion of me goes down. Okay, Ugh, not great. That's not particularly helpful. Um, yeah, so now we're just waiting for the uh, for the blood ritual to begin again, I think. Right, and I've just decided that we're going to start rebuilding our levy because I did say, uh, our retinue, sorry, I did say that I was going to rebuild that uh, after that war. Um, that war is finished. Uh, we obviously got our ass spanked as well. We ne we definitely needed more men. So I am going to start rebuilding that retinue as well. Uh, so we've gone for the heavy infantry and 50 archers because I am the defender type. So that's how we've decided to do it. We're not rebuilding the camel cavalry because I'm not uh, a cavalry expert. I am not an infantry expert either, but Defender fits more with heavy infantry than anything else, I would say. And in other good news, my um, my council has actually started to come around to me. They're all starting to like me a little bit more. I think that maybe that uh, took the titles off of that vassal was worn off a little bit. I mean, the vassals are annoyed because they're not on the council, so... But yeah, everyone's opinion's starting to creep up of me. That's good. So hopefully, threats should be going down. Let's have a look. Yeah, the threats are dropping. And they don't have nearly enough strength to challenge me now. That's good. Good news on that front as well. 
Here we go. I found some cryptic scrawlings written in blood on my bedroom door this morning. The guards say they haven't seen anyone enter during the night and I dare not ask my court imam to decipher it. Yet I think I understand. The pentagram. The mark of Iblis. This time, of course, the bargain must be struck. This time around, we are going to go for it. You carve a pentagram into your arm just like the one Wali Farouk showed you. Emi Mirza, the wise, gets bandaged arm giving the following effects personal combat skill down that's not great when we're trying to challenge that other guy to a duel but the bargain must be struck there we are we have joined well i don't know if we've actually joined or not yet right my holding is under siege again now from who the conquest of esfahan so yeah you're trying to take more realms off of me okay this is definitely a war that we want to take this time because yeah he's trying to take land off of me his badge is very similar to mine you just stole that from me and we can take this guy so yes we are definitely going to do that this time are you still uh we can do that there so we are going to raise our levies there now there is a button to press that stops you from raising in enemy control there we go so we're not going to run into hostile armies there so we will raise our guys so that's 3,000 um, I think I'm gonna raise my vassals levies as well just to make sure because it's not hugely in our favor so yeah we will uh which way are you guys going as well you're going right through that territory don't do that come no 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 come down there down there and then yeah round here come yeah there we go that's better now you're not going to get smashed when you come through there uh but yeah that is definitely a uh that is definitely a war we want to get involved because they are trying to take uh, titles um, and land off of us again. So we need to stand up and we need to be a little bit more involved this time. We need to be aware when people are trying to take land off of us. Oh, here we go. Brother Mirza, we have received word of your dedication and desire to join the Legion of the True Lord. Await the messenger. Let the Dark One guide you. Signed, Priestess Kalnisa. Yep, we're going down the we're going down the uh, the Satanist route. I've met an intriguing and hypnotically beautiful woman at court. Apparently, this Miesa is a foreign diplomat. I engaged her in conversation for the first time today, and we spoke at length about strategies. I was shocked when she carefully pulled up her sleeve, revealing the mark of Lucifer. You're the messenger. Uh, have a fairly positive opinion of her. So, yes, you're the messenger. The Abjura smiles. I'm pleased to find you not only a charming man, Mirza, but also one capable of intellectual discourse. The brethren value the pursuit of knowledge, you see, in addition to more earthly pursuits. Her smile turns into a predatory grin as she continues, we'll soon see exactly how committed you are. I... What do you need me to do? Me Miyasa offers no reply, instead taking you by the hand. <laughs> Miyasa escorts me to the bedchamber. I hesitate upon entering, finding it flooded with light as candles form a circle around my bed. Several hooded figures surrounded the room, charting in unison. Fear not, brother. Power and pleasure. These are the gifts of Iblis. I like the sound of that. You partake in the ritual. I I can't do this. You refuse the demonic ritual and try to escape. Um, I want to go down this route. I like this woman enough that I probably would want to sleep with her. It is a little bit weird that people are going to be watching me. But I am uncouth. So I'm going to go for it. I partake in the ritual. When I wake up, the cloaked figures are gone and Miasa is lying next to me, a smile tugging at the corner of her mouth. Welcome to Lucifer's own, Emi Mirsa. 
she says, I hold her close, wondering how I will look back on this moment. I wish I had found you sooner. Emin Mirza joins Lucifer's own society. My opinion changes by 25 of her, and her opinion changes by 25 of me. This was a necessary evil. I joined the society, but my opinion goes down of... Uh, her opinion goes down of 10. I like her well enough that I would probably go for that thing is, is I oh she's married ah damn oh well we could become lovers she's kind why are you in Lucifer's own that's very weird but yeah there we go I have joined the society and I gain a nice cool little Jedi robe there now as well Anakin think of the younglings so yes we have joined Lucifer's own the society here we are currently at abjura uh, we can right click on portraits of characters at a lower tier than duke or relative to someone in lower tier than duke and attempt to abduct and imprison them with the help of my brethren in lucifer's own in exchange for dark power i can also sacrifice them to satan okay there we go so now all of those people that we're gonna kill when we do capture them is not just because of cruelty we are doing it in favor of our lord and uh yeah i now have a rival where did you come from apparently he's just become my rival i did not know that i wanted this guy to become my rival because i didn't like him but i fluffed it up and now he likes me um yeah where did that woman go because my opinion might be very high of her now, right? I'm guessing she's not in my court anymore, is she? No, but I thought that my opinion might go high of her. But anyway, I'm sure she'll come back around at some point And maybe we might woo her and have a little bit more fun, if you know what I mean. This also might change some things. We now might have different focuses and different ambitions that we want to achieve. We certainly need to look for new uh, intriguey decisions and stuff like that. And we might now find ourselves a new wife who also happens to worship Satan. But all of that I think we'll leave for next time. As well as this war against this satrap up here. Because he is trying to take land from us. And we simply cannot have that. So yes, all that and more coming up next time. I want to thank you for joining me today. I certainly hope that you do join me for that next time. But until then, I bid you all adieu, a good day, and a massive GG to you all. This has been a Rich T Entertainment production. If you like this episode, please like and subscribe. If you wish to see some more videos, please click down below.